Hey guys, Jam here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another Space Marine 2 kit bash. Now, this might contain slight spoilers for the literal intro of the game, so if you haven't played it, maybe skip past this bit. So, one, two, three, I'm going to start now. Yeah, the intro of the video you play as Death Watch Titus, basically. And weirdly, I don't know why I didn't realize it was him while playing through the intro. I thought you were playing as some like no-name marine as a tutorial, then you'd end up meeting Titus towards the end. Yeah, which makes no sense because he's literally holding his chain sword and he's got the chains around his wrist and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, a little bit silly there. But anyway, my point is I couldn't help myself. I had to make a Death Watch version of Titus because if you guys have watched my previous video, I did the normal Ultramarine Titus kit bash. Go watch that if you haven't seen it yet. But if anyone has been around my channel for a while knows I've got a fairly sizable Death Watch collection as well. So I just wanted to uh, put him into my Death Watch collection. So he's not 100% accurate to what the game shows him as. Obviously he's Primaris form as well. But, you know, I use colors and stuff so he matches my army. But anyway, enough waffling. This has gone on for long enough. Let's get into it. So to start with, I got this Intercessor body that I already built up. And in order to give him that more non-primaris look, the first thing I had to do was slice off those little knee ridges, whatever they're exactly called. So yeah, I just got my hobby knife and I just gently cut away that little like extra plating there. Just slow and steady, making sure I don't nick into the armor I want to keep there and just, you know, keep it nice and neat. And once I cut that away, kneaded it up with my hobby knife, I just went in with some thin plastic glue just lightly rubbing around those edges there to make sure I just kind of smooth out any nicks and scratches I created with my knife. And then on a similar note, I needed to get rid of that Aquila on his chest. So I take my hobby knife again and just slow and steady cut it away. Once again, you have to be quite gentle with this because if you nick that chest plate in, then you're going to kind of ruin the whole arm. I mean, it can probably be used as like battle damage, but yeah, just patience with this slowly just slicing bits away. And then usually when I get the majority of the plastic cut away, I'll just kind of slightly turn my hobby knife to an angle and just use it to scrape away and kind of sand down the plastic just to smooth it out a bit more. Now, if you've played the game, you'll know that Death Watch Titus has a cape. Now, this cape is from the Death Watch Veterans Kit. And to be honest, you could probably make Death Watch Titus just purely out of that kit. But obviously, I wanted mine to be a... Primaris kind of size and also there wouldn't be much of a video if I just made it straight out of the kit. Now instead of sculpting my own cape I just decided to use this one. So I used my clippers to initially kind of remove the big chunks of the model and then when the majority of it's gone I go in with my hobby knife and I just start cleaning up and removing bits of plastic then I'll do a dry fit to see where it fits on the model and I'll cut a bit more with my hobby knife and just go back and forth like that. And then, as you can see here, I finally got it kind of in the position I wanted, got the plastic cleared, all that kind of stuff. But there's a chunk missing on the right hand side there, which later will be filling in with green stuff. So it'll all look natural at the end. And to be honest, now that the backpack's on and later when you have the shoulder pads on, you probably wouldn't notice it anyway, but I'm going to fill it in. And yeah, as for the Death Watch backpack, it just comes from the Death Watch Veterans Kit. Like I said, the game version of Titus is basically just a model out of that kit. Now one thing that's always awkward about kit bashing Titus is he uses the opposite hand to pretty much most GW kits when it comes to which hand he uses for a chainsaw and which hand he uses for a bolt pistol. But luckily I had the old um, Stone Guard Veterans kit or maybe it's Vanguard Veterans, can't remember which one. And they came with a right hand chainsaw and a left hand bolt pistol. And the bolt pistol is great as well because it kind of has that like old school marine, first ball marine kind of vibe to it, so I just used that. And the chainsaw's not exactly accurate, but I'm just gonna use it anyway. But yeah, back to the bolt pistol arm. The arm and the shoulder pad and everything is just from the Death Watch Veterans kit again. And like I said, I just glued on that bolt pistol there and it worked out pretty perfectly. Now, as for the chainsaw, like I mentioned before, this is from the, I think the Vanguard Veterans kit, and it just had this Purity seal, which obviously Titus doesn't have on there, so all I do is I just lightly snip this away. And the arm I'm going to use for this chainsaw, I believe, is just from the normal Intercessors kit. The one with the fingers pointing outwards, so I just cut the hand off there later, I'll chuck the chainsaw on. But now quickly going on to the head, 
I believe this head might be from one of the Dark Angels upgrade sprues, one of the old ones. I needed something with an old school firstborn helmet and a hood. And yeah, this one is basically perfect for that. And there you go, that's what he looks like so far with the helmet on, the bolt pistol, the chainsaw, and everything. It's looking kind of accurate. Like I say, it's a Primaris body mostly, but you know, it's just uh, I think it's a good mashup so far. Now going on to the chest. And also going back to the Death Watch Veterans Kit, like I said before a million times, you could literally just make the model out of that kit if you wanted to. But Death Watch Titus has that skull and crossbones thing on his chest, which the Death Watch Veterans Kit has. So all I had to do here was use my hobby clippers again, get rid of the big majority of chunks of plastic, and then I go in with my hobby knife very gently cutting that skull and crossbones away. And even more gently, once it's free, I'd use my hobby knife just to slowly clear the plastic between the bones and all that kind of stuff to get it to look right. But yeah, as you can see, it turned out pretty well. I probably could have sanded it down a bit at the back to make it a bit more flush with the chest, but it's such a small piece that I didn't want to damage it. So it's good enough for now. As for the tactical pouches on his chest, that's straight out of the Death Watch kit, and I just glued them straight on there with uh, not much work, really. And as for the little like bony trinket he has on his belt, that's from the normal Intercessors kit. Now that's pretty much Titus done for the minute. I still have to come in with the green stuff and all that later. But I wanted to move on to giving him a really cool base. Something that kind of resembles, represents I should say, Space Marine 2. So I wanted broken buildings slash rubble and dead Tyranids basically. Now I had one more of these Tyranid Hormigans or Tormigans. I can't remember which one this is or how you pronounce it. But one of the little bug dudes. And uh, all I do is I chop the majority of his body away with my hobby knife. But I also kind of chop the one side of his body at an angle because I want Titus to be kind of running up his body like a, a mound of junk and bodies. I just kind of went back and forth dry fitting Titus on the angle of this Tyranid, the way I'm kind of slicing it to see if it, he stands in a position that I like. And then once I did have the angle I wanted, I got out some of my plastic card diamond plate slash check steel kind of stuff. Now I use this for a lot of projects. I really love it. And yeah, I just cut out a chunk of that, glued it on top of the, the tyranid. So it kind of looks like some steel and rubble has fallen on top of it. Now I do have to do a bit of bending and stuff like that, obviously, so it matches the curve. But obviously, plastic art is very bendy, so it's easy enough. Now once the plastic card kind of diamond check stuff is dry, I glue on Titus. Now with plastic card you can use plastic glue and I do in this case, but because he's in that weird kind of runny pose, he's like not touching the ground that much with his feet, I wanted a bit more extra strength in there. Instead of pinning it, I just put some rubble and sand underneath his feet there with some super glue. So it kind of strengthens that bond and creates a wider surface area there. Now obviously before I just chucked on the plastic card there just as a chunk, but now that I have kind of everything in the position I want, I go in with my clippers and my hobby knife and I start shaping it up a bit more and roughing up the edges, maybe bending and folding some bits so it looks a bit more natural and roughed up. And once that's all done, I just go in with some little bits of rubble and sand and I put that all over the, the steel plating and amongst the Tyranid's body and stuff like that. Once again, just creating this kind of destroyed battlefield vibe to it all. Now back to finishing Titus off. And obviously in the Death Watch, he is a black shield. So, you know, he has no iconography of what chapter he's from or anything like that. So he has this bit of cloth, a really raggedy bit of cloth, over where his icon should be. And obviously a singular chain going over there. And obviously he has his chain on his wrist as well, which we'll be doing in a minute. But for that cloth, I got out some green stuff, rolled it out nice and flat. And then I just kind of cut it into the rough shape that I'm going to want it on. So it's going to have to curve around this pauldron. And then I go in with my hobby knife just to kind of create slices and stuff like that where the end of the cloth is really tattered. And then once I have it on the shoulder, it's all nice and stuck down where I want it to be. I get out my tweezers and this is an old trick I use and I just pull those little strands that I cut before so it stretches them out and makes them look a bit lot more ripped and rough and all that kind of stuff. And I just do that until I kind of get a vibe that I'm happy with. Then obviously once that's complete, I come in with my silicon color shapers. If you ever plan on doing any green stuff, you should definitely buy a set of these. And I just start kind of 
slowly and gently sculpting in some folds and ripples and stuff like that into the cloth. And now the final part of the model is the chains. Now I use 1.5 millimeter jewelry chain here, I believe. But I recently found some like thinner one mil ones and I think it looks a lot better than this one. I think if you can find smaller the better. But yeah, as for the wrist, I just wrap around in the kind of way I want, snip it off with my hobby clippers and then go in with some super glue. Now I've done this in a million videos before, but you just want to dunk a toothpick or something into some super glue and just kind of run it around the chain so it hardens up those links so it won't move around. Now I do a similar thing, but I get one singular strand going from one end of the pauldron to the other, like going across the green stuff and all that. I'm doing it while the green stuff is still a bit soft as well, so it kind of pushes into that cloth and looks a bit more natural as well. And yeah, that is it. The only other thing I did that I didn't show here was I stuck one purity seal on his death watchy arm and that was it. So I'm going to go paint this bad boy up and give you guys a little showcase. So there you have it ladies and gents, it was a quick one today but I just wanted to get this video out for you guys and yeah, let me know what you think. Does it uh, match up with the Death Watch intro titus? Obviously like I said it's not 100% the same, I didn't go into as much detail as the Ultramarine version like I did but yeah, if you liked the video you know what to do, like, subscribe, all that, I do have a Patreon and YouTube membership. If you'd like to help me keep the bits box full and you know, keep these kid bashes coming. But yeah, until the next one. Bye-bye. And I'm gonna go play some Space Marine 2.